What's up YouTube, how you doing? This is Mr. Tybox123 and in this video I'm going to be bringing you my full review of this, the VO Mimi X3. So here we are guys, something a little bit different in this review video. VO do a whole range of really fantastic products. Check them out at vo-world.com and this is one of them. This is the VO Mimi X3, and this is actually a Wi-Fi portable battery-powered speaker. So this thing, you can literally take it anywhere. You can use it around the house, you can take it out in the garden, you can take it to work, you can use it pretty much anywhere, and it comes with a huge six-hour battery life. So a pretty great speaker here from VO. As you can see, it's a pretty substantial-looking box. Brilliant build quality, as always. Now you guys know that I actually tested out the little speaker from uh, VO which was absolutely fantastic, the little Bluetooth speaker. This is kind of the big brother to that if you like. Now this thing operates on 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, so it's got a fantastic range, somewhere in the region of about 40 to 50 meters. And you can even add little satellite speakers to this and actually place them in separate rooms around the house, enabling you to actually stream Wi-Fi music to all of them at once. Now I'll just give you a bit more of a close up of this one in particular. So this is actually the front of the device, no buttons or anything like that, just the VO label. On the top, we've actually got the on off button along with the volume control. And then around the back, we have got the air output along with an auxiliary in input. And then we've got the power input for charging the device. And then we've got obviously got a mains power cable, uh, power switch there as well. Also a charging light as well. On the bottom, just a grill for the woofer, and that's pretty much it on the actual device itself. Now, in terms of what else you get in the box, you get a whole range of little goodies. Now first up, you get this little USB key here, and what you can actually do with this is just plug this into your laptop or your tablet or whatever it may be, and this will actually enable your device to stream audio then to the main X3 speaker. Now, in addition to that, you also get a little docking station for that USB key as well, so you can actually give yourself a bit better range. And it looks kind of cool as well. Just plonk it in there, and then you just plug that in. Plug that end into your laptop or your tablet, and away you go. Now, next up, we get two more dongles. We get a 30-pin connector for the iPad 2 1 iPhone 4s, iPod 4s, that kind of thing. Obviously anything before the, uh, the lightning connector. And when you plug this into your device, again, it enables that device with the right kind of Wi-Fi functionality with no software at all to play audio to this speaker. Now again, you actually get another device and this one is actually a female 30 pin connector. So what you can do with this is if you've got, for example, some kind of unit which has got a male 30 pin connector that you would normally plug, say for example, your iPod or your iPhone into, you can actually plug this into it instead, and then maybe it's like DAB or radio or something like that, and then that would actually stream audio in addition to its own speaker to this speaker as well. So if you've got a docking station like that, for example, that's got maybe DAB, and you wanna get some audio outside in the summer when we eventually get it, or in another room, you can just simply put that on top of the connector and then it will automatically stream all of the audio out to this portable speaker. In addition to that, you also get a standard auxiliary cable, so you can just plug this into pretty much any device, and then you can actually use the speaker as almost a local speaker, but maybe with battery power. So anyway guys, let's actually give this thing a try. So first up, what we can do is, if I just grab an old iPad 2 here, we just literally, like I say, place the 30 pin dongle in the bottom. It's virtually non-intrusive at all. It just sits in there nice and neat at the bottom. And then what we do is we just power the speaker on. Let's just turn it up to say, let's say about 40% and then we can actually play the song. So you can now hear the music coming out of the speaker. It's just about kind of voice volume at about 30, 40% and then let's just whack it up to about 80% now. And you can hear I'm kind of having trouble speaking over the top of that. Let's just 
turn that back down. So there we go, guys. So literally, just by placing that little dongle in the bottom of the iPad, it will just stream wirelessly, uh, and not over, you know, kind of short distance Bluetooth, but over a decent Wi-Fi connection to this actual speaker. And I've tested it, I can go to pretty much any room in the house and this will continue to play. So very, very cool for um, a, a speaker that is you know, completely wireless and completely portable with that big six hour battery in there as well. Now, if you have actually got a device, for example, an iPhone 5 that you want to use with this, then obviously the dongle doesn't work. But if you get the small connector and then you plug it into the bottom of that, it looks a bit silly, but it does actually work as well. And then again, you can hear the audio now playing out of the speaker without any software or anything like that. You just simply plug it in. Here we go. And again, you can hear it. Now I can't play music for long because of copyright reasons and they'll delete my video. But I can tell you the audio quality from this is actually very, very good. Um, it's not the kind of tightest audio that I've ever heard, but the bass is absolutely phenomenal out of this little unit. It has got a dedicated subwoofer. Um, it's not quite so good in the mid to high ranges as something like a Bose speaker, for example, but then obviously you're going to be paying a hell of a lot more money for that. But very, very good sound quality uh, in general coming out of the VO. Just the clarity is maybe not quite as good as it actually could be, but then you, if you want that, you're going to be spending a hell of a lot more money. So in terms of the price, you can actually pick this up in the UK for about £200 from somewhere like Amazon, or in the US I've seen it for about $315. So a good price for a big portable speaker like this with actually very good sound quality. Anyway guys, like I say, check out this product on VO's website at vo-world.com. They've got a whole range of really cool kind of products on there with you know speakers and battery chargers and all that kind of stuff. So check that out. Thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you all in the next video. Don't forget to hit that like button for me.